Hi guys, in this in-depth tutorial we're going to be demonstrating the various ways in which we can hide objects from a 3D viewport. So let's take a look at how we can hide the visibility of our objects in 3D space. There are several methods. The first method is to select the object and then go to the objects menu. Open this up and then come down to where it says show and hide. Within this menu, we will have the ability to hide our selection. So left click to hide the Suzanne object in our example from view in the 3D viewport. Now if we go back to our object menu and then show hide again, we have the ability to show any objects that we have hidden. So we can left click to bring Suzanne back into view. Another method of hiding our objects is to use the hotkey. For hiding, this is the H key. So press H on your keyboard and that will hide your selected objects. Hold Alt and then press AH in order to bring hidden objects back into view. Now you also have the ability to hide multiple objects at the same time. For example, if I hold down Shift and left click we can select two objects. Now I can press H to hide both of them. I can bring all of the objects back into view by holding the Alt key and pressing H. Another way of using the hide tool is to hide all objects except for your selection. For my example I can hold down the Shift key and press H. This will hide all of the objects except for my selection. You may notice that we can't quite see the details on Suzanne and that's because we have also hidden the light object from our scene. So that's something that we just need to keep in mind when using that specific function. Again, I'm going to use Alt and H to bring my objects back into view. Finally, we have the outliner panel as a much simpler way of hiding objects from our 3D viewport. Each object, as well as each collection that you create in Blender, has this eye icon next to it, and this displays the visibility of our models. In Suzanne's case, if I left click on the eye icon, I can hide Suzanne. If I left click on the icon again, I can bring Suzanne back into view. These are some of the basic ways in which we can hide our objects in the 3D viewport. Thanks for watching guys. If you're interested in learning more about Blender, then check out the link in the description below. This will take you to the Blender Bootcamp, which is our own library filled with Blender learning resources such as classes, full courses, further tutorials, workshops and more. Check out the link in the video description and gain access to all of these resources for free for a 30 day trial period.